Well, the IGL Hasoka has spoken. He says topside, we go topside, and we'll see if he's right. I'm sure he probably is. Now, a couple teams in the area to play spoiler. Of course, you see FaZe Black there lurking in the shadows on that high ground position. They are outside the zone. The, sp the spot he's talking about is just to the south of that, and you actually see on our map that Omit EU is on the train tracks, just the east side of that kind of northern end zone that he's talking about. So we'll see if it ends up going there. Omit NA has completely abdicated from this fight and they've actually gone onto the island dead center of all that water and are reaping teams as well. So they're moving up this leaderboard pretty dramatically as FaZe Black is trying to creep down into zone and they might be held here by the Falcons. Oh, flanked down and out. The angles that you can take from this bridge. So if you think about the biggest threats to it, it is FaZe Black, right? They dive down to the low ground here, but also Exiles and military base side of thing, XTH. You've got a couple more over there, even Team Super Evan, but they've got to clear it out and now Cod Mune on double digit eliminations have set their sights on to omit NA. Let it burn. We need seven more points. This island is ours. My goodness, Omit NA obliterated off the island, and Youngs is swimming for his life right now, looking for any semblance of a multiplier. We have 16 teams remaining, and COD Unity likely has done enough at this point. I'm not going to call it that they're past 150 points, but I'm sure they will be, if they, especially if they can secure top 10, which is likely looking like it will be the case. You see Super Evan's team in the Salmon 9 off the right-hand side. Omit EU on the train right now, on the train tracks. This is win condition that the Falcons were talking about. They got here early. Anybody else that's been playing a lot of scrims, they know this spot well. Shifty a little bit isolated, knowing that the Italians are down below. He is actually out in the gas, getting held by a couple teams from distance. He's gonna smoke and run and try to help out his teammates by wiping these Italians. Unfortunately, there's a long angle on it. There really is, but their ability to put themselves into a god spot with the least amount of resistance is uncanny. Team Super Evan there on the train, out in gas. Biffle with their eyes set straight onto him, but it backs up on up you can see team Aiden from the south out of Superstore we go they seem closer to the circle alongside FaZe from the south the big fight here is going to be Aiden it's going to be Exiles as they reek up on that eastern side of things all eyes on the Falcons but in the top right hand corner you see that FaZe is having a banger game right now there is a chance if FaZe wins this they can also breach 150 points yes this might be the final map these might be the final moments of the final map where we could see several teams past our 150 point threshold at the end of this one top 10 means COD Munity likely done enough Super Evan falls in 11th unfortunately no multipliers for you but Ahsoka on high ground it's youngsters playing spoiler as a solo from distance luckily just a hair another of cover to stay alive as Omit EU oh, no. trying to regain and Ahsoka has a flank. And the angles, right? Omit EU, formidable foes, but they're already preoccupied with Team Aiden on the other side. Z Smith down and out and Omit NA wiped. Shifty, this is where he's going to get crazy. He's going to extend out, look for these eliminations. Third party at Omit EU, the formidable foes. They're down, they're out. More eliminations across the board, but COD Munity, 0.8 points away. They're still up in it. Can they get to 150? Can they stop the Falcons? Unbelievable, DJ Moss was able to pick up a, not a lot of eliminations and stay alive, but the Falcons have all three up and everybody else is killing each other. The Falcons are in the best position to win it all. They not only have high ground, sure they gotta move into zone, but FaZe is going viral in the water. It's Clapper trying to play spoiler. Lin FIFA, sure you're still up. FaZe doing everything they can to try to breach the threshold. COD Munity is past it. They are on threshold, but it may not matter. The Falcons are the only team, I believe, with all three alive besides Team Clapper, who I I believe are nearly dead last. The Falcons are probably going to win it. Can anybody answer the call to stop this dynasty? They were a wild card for a reason, was that team clapper. But what can they do when you have the playable space, when you have the angles, they're unleashing their inner kaijus and reaping it straight across to Lennon we go. FIFA sitting ducks in the water. No chance. There's no chance. The Falcons have the best position. All three up. Plenty of resources. Look how many plates they have. Everything is going their way. The only thing that could make this difficult is if this next zone pulls towards Rocket. If they get the pull, maybe. The problem is, it's in the water. It's got to pull all the way to Freddy for this to even be a problem for the Falcons. They've got the best spot. It does. It goes to the Falcons. They have the best spot. They are going to win this game in just a matter of time. There has to be an absolutely Herculean effort from somebody else in this lobby to stop this tournament from being over. And they are just 
just putting the pressure onto everyone. Left out into the gas we go. Biffle wants to claim the top of that elimination leader, but wants to cement the dynasty. We talked about it. Is it the last dance? I don't know, but they could cement themselves in history here. The Falcons, the flip of the coin, lands on a nice edge. Freddy, Zanks, you have no chance, my friends. All three up, and they're gonna style on them. The Falcons needing one. The Falcons are your champions. They are inevitable. The dynasty has been etched in stone forever. The Falcons are the best Warzone team of all time. There is no question. There is no debate. No one can shake their finger at them and say, not today. Think about the history. Think about the other teams. The Falcons are the best team to ever grace this game. You heard it from the Falcons themselves. The interview stating that there is not a single player in the world that they would ever replace one another with. If this is true, if this is Biffle's last dance, you might as well write the perfect final chapter here in Urzikstan. Vegas goes wild for the champions. Was it what we expected? Sure. Did it happen the way we expected? Certainly not. But when you awoke the Falcons, the Falcons soared, and they won this whole event. The Falcons are gonna head down to the stage where all the fans are crowding around. Cause sure, they've won $300,000, but they've also won a trophy that they've gotta lift him. Soka won in Caldera. He reigns supreme here in Urzikstan. Biffle with a back-to-back -back alongside Shifty as the boys approach one of their prizes, the trophy here, lifted by some of the greatest of all times. There is no more question. There's no mark on anybody's name. Everybody believes these are the best three players in the world. The Falcons are your World Series of Warzone 2024 champions. You called it. You said you woke up. You woke up. A man of your word. We've never seen a team like it. Shifty, how do you describe this moment? It's incredible, man. I mean, for the past months, I've been seeing the number seven, and we won it in fucking game seven. I mean, I believe in manifestation in this team. I mean, the greatest of all fucking time, the greatest IGL of all time, and hey, the greatest fragger. I think I can say that, you know? <laughs> Fucking three for three, Soka came into this team with a different fucking mindset. He, we knew we were gonna win. We knew, there's no doubt in my mind. I don't care if we had a bad start or whatever. I knew once we got there that we were gonna ace. And it being on game seven was just, it just testament to what I believe in and what the team believes in. Uh, we're just the greatest fucking team. But one thing I do have to say, man, uh, one thing I need to say, listen, please, please. I need one individual, man, Rob. You need to admit that us three, we are the greatest trio to ever play this game. And I need you also to understand and admit that Diaz Biffle is the best player in the fucking world. It is not anyone that he has said it was. He is the greatest of all time. Because of D, we're able to work as hard as we fucking do. This kid is a fucking goat. Well said, brother. That's for you as well. <laughs> All right, well, a great team is nothing without a great leader. Soka, you're up next, mate. Firstly, plates. Always need the plates, baby. Double fisted, baby. <laughs> what club we going tonight, Jack? Come on, what's up? I'm at the Weird Night Club, what's up? What's up? How do you describe this moment? A great tournament from the whole squad, but you've been credited with some of the massive changes, the big wins, the decisions made in game. How do you feel about that? Feels great, man. You know, last year, uh, I came short, I came second. No one knows this, but I cried in my room by myself, like a little baby. So they introduced me to the team, they had faith in me, and they trusted me, and once there's trust on the team, there's chemistry, we're undeniable. The generational one, baby, you can't deny us now. Undeniable is the only way to describe it. Congratulations once again, fellas. I think I've got one more plate. 
We've got one more play to give. Biffa, we'll keep this one. First and foremost, that's for you, sir. Congratulations. Everyone wants to know, the music's finally stopped. Is this the last dance? I know the competitors, they want us, or they want me to leave because we're too fucking dominant. Um, but I think I'll stay in their fucking nightmares one more year. I'll give it another year. Oh, yeah. Fuck it. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, the Falcons, your World Series of Warzone Global Final Champions.